What's up, five fans? Osborne and McCarty are back with you, and we have the UFCs of all UFCs, UFC 100. Now, obviously, this is a stacked card. There's going to be a ton of fights. Because of the time constraints with YouTube videos, we are not going to talk about every single fight going on that night. We're going to talk about the three main fights of the night. First one, again, Dan Henderson taking on Michael Bisping. This is the finale from the uh, U.S. versus U.K. Uh, coaches battle, season nine. Now, it's very obvious there's some bad blood between these guys. Yeah. They really hate each other. We've watched the whole episode, and I know there's a lot of drama on that show just for the sake of getting the views, but... I don't know, Bisping can be pretty pompous sometimes, and then Dan <laughs> Henderson seems kind of like a good old boy, so I'm expecting some fireworks in this one. Matt, who do you think has the edge in the fight? Ah, uh, Hendo, because he's not a British brat. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. All the UK fans, <laughs> bloop. Eh, sorry, guys. Tuned out. Hey, you might not be brats, but whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, okay, ground game, Henderson. Stand up, maybe even, but I think Hendo hits way harder than Bisping. Bisping tried that whole jab and run thing against Lieben, but in my book, Henderson's no Lieben. I'm going to give it to Hendo, second round, TKO, he's going to catch him with a left and then finish him on the ground, maybe break his nose. Wow, so left, I thought all the power was in the right. Henderson's a beast. Okay, well, I'm going to disagree with you there. All I right, think on right. the striking, I think it's pretty even. I mean, Henderson definitely has more uh, experience, he's fought in pride, he's fought a lot of really good guys in UFC, Bisping not so much, so he definitely has that going for him, but Bisping has that whole underdog thing going. I think a lot of people are expecting him to lose and lose badly. So he's going to go in, definitely wants to prove something to all of his boys that he coached for uh, season nine. So Bisping is going to do well. I don't think he's going to win. I think uh, Dan Henderson is going to have the edge in the wrestling department. And that, I think, is going to be the catalyst to this fight. Henderson's going to go in for the takedown whenever he feels he's in trouble. He'll be able to control Bisping on the ground there. Probably pound on him for a while. I do not see him finishing Bisping, though. I say he's going to take this one via decision. So I'm taking Hendo. Jared, agree? Disagree? I agree. I think uh, Henderson obviously has a better wrestling. He's going to, I think he'll probably take him down the first and second round and then maybe not be able to in the third round and lose the third round. But I think he's definitely going to take it by decision. So nice decision. That's my call. Sure, I definitely agree with you there because if you look at Bisping's older fights, he got taken down a lot when he fought Matt Hamill and we fought Rashad, oh, so yeah. it's a weakness. Who knows, maybe he's really practiced up, he's gonna be ready for it, but I don't think so, we're taking Hendo. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, Tiago Alves finally is getting his shidal tot, <laughs> and I think it's well-deserved. Yeah. I mean, he stomped a lot of guys in the welterweight division, definitely deserves this. GSP, probably gonna have his hands full. Yeah. I mean, Tiago has definitely got the Muay Thai and definitely the best Muay Thai that GSP has faced to this point. And I know there's a lot of guys out there that are freaking out that he might just take this, but I don't know. We really have to kind of delve into this a little bit. A lot of people are saying that GSP is in trouble, but they said that about John Fitch, remember? He's yeah. never fought anybody like John Fitch. <laughs> He's a survivor. What happens? He stomps him. Yeah. Obviously, he took him to decision, so good for Fitch, but GSP was winning that fight every single round. There wasn't a moment he was losing. Then he goes against BJ Penn, and they said, oh, this is going to be a really good fight. BJ got pounded for four <laughs> rounds before his boys had to throw in the towel, so wasn't even close there. So whenever they put that pressure on GSP, he seems to excel. So Matt, he's going against a Muay Thai guy. What is he going to do to cancel out that edge? Because GSP is definitely rounded, yeah. but he's definitely never faced competition like this. I think rounded is the key. It's not, as ha it's not how is GSP going to deal with the Muay Thai, it's how is Alves going to deal with everything else. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alves, Spoken like a true GSP now. I'm sorry, this guy, this guy is the best. I'm sorry, GSP is the champ for a reason. He's the best. I think Alves is going to be a good test for him, but I don't actually see this one going to decision. I think if GSP feels confident, he's going to pull out a submission in the third round. If not, TKO in the fourth. Nice. So you think it needs to go into the later rounds? I think that'll help GSP. Yeah. So, yeah. so Jared, Cardio Edge, who, who's got it in this one? Well, you got to give it to GSP. I mean, he doesn't have to cut as much weight, and, you know... Tiago is just a huge guy, you know. He yeah. he's obviously can't have as good a cardio as GSP. GSP is just shown it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Tiago, you know, he he has the stopping power. He can he can put an end to this fight early. So I'm actually gonna give this one to Tiago. I'm gonna Ooh, go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna go second round TKO. TKO. Wow. We're no longer brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's ballsy, man. I, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let me uh, throw in my little two cents there. Again, I mentioned GSP has been, you know, 
not the underdog in earlier fights, but it's they've always been worried about him that he's you know he's not gonna be able to deal with this guy's skills. But I think if he can just last to the later rounds, like you were saying, take it into the third or fourth round. By that time, in my opinion, Alvich is probably gonna be gassing out, and that's where GSP does really really good. I see him taking him down over and over again, not just scoring points, but beating up and kind of taking his will to keep on fighting while he's down there. I'm taking fourth round submission nice. in honor of GSP. <laughs> I'm throw this on there. I cannot believe I'm picking GSP and you're not. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and this definitely looks better on him than it does on me. But again, GSP, third round submission. It is the main event of the evening, proudly sponsored by our new sponsor, G2CApparel.com. These guys are awesome because their clothing actually is symbolic. Every shirt means something. Matt is wearing the Evolution shirt, representing that martial arts has come a long way since the early days of the UFC and when it was no holds barred. Jared's wearing the G2C with the star in the middle. Star represents the glory or the title or the belt around your waist. That is the goal that every MMA fighter is going for. And I'm wearing the 50-50 shirt. Cool thing with any mixed martial arts fight, it's always even. You might have more skills than the other guy, but you always have a puncher's chance. You might have more heart. That can make the difference. Every fight that's out there is an even chant, 50-50. So thanks to G2C for the threads. You want to get some for yourself, check out G2CApparel.com. Whew, we got Brock Lesnar, Frank Mir, the rematch. Oh. I, I can just tell right now that there's going to be some arguing going on from us because we, we've talked about this a couple of times. We haven't actually said who we're picking yet, but... Uh, look how we put it. Matt, you just hate freaking Lesnar, so I know that's going to influence your pick. So let's just get it out there. Yeah. Who's going to win and why? Frank Mir, because he's better. <laughs> wow. You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to agree with you there. I think overall, technique-wise, Frank Mir is definitely the better fight. I mean, yeah. Lesnar has, what, four fights? Yeah. So nothing against Lesnar. I'm not trying to smash him down or anything like that, but Mir has fought better competition. He just has more experience. But... Mir is not a freak of nature like Brock no, Lesnar. No. To me, Brock Lesnar is like the boss at the end of a video game, yeah. like the main <laughs> one. And you can just punch him a bunch of times or shoot him, depending on what the game is, millions of times, and it slowly drains him down. But all he has to do is connect once or twice, and boom, it lights out. So you could say Mir probably is going to win the fight, but how can you guarantee that Lesnar's not going to get one or two shots in, kind of like with Couture? Remember when he fought him? Yeah. He didn't even hit him like in the face. It was like behind an ear. <laughs> and that discombobulated him. Couture hit the ground, and then Lesnar was on top of him doing the old Indian burn on his forehead. <laughs> so how, how do you go against that? Uh, like this. <laughs> Frank Mir. Okay, he's got great jiu-jitsu. So I think Lesnar... Even though he's proud of his wrestling, he thinks he's his strength, I think he's going to stay away from the ground. I mean, he learned be smart. last time. That'd be smart. And to be honest, I think Frank Mir is a better striker. Yeah. I mean, I, I think all around, technique-wise, he's better. I think if Frank Mir actually tries to stand up and strike with him effectively, efficiently, I think he'd beat him. I mean, he's a southpaw. He's got some crazy power in his left hand. I mean, come on. I don't care if Noguera had staff. He got dropped four <laughs> times, and he got dropped hard. Yeah. That fool hits hard. I'm sorry. So. True. Uh, Mir, submission, third round. Third round, third okay, round. okay. Jared, um, let's see here. We got Lesnar now. Is he going to be able to get that one or two punch in there to kind of knock Mir around? Because I just watched their first fight the other day. I mean, what, five seconds? Mir was already dropped on the ground. And really, if Mazagati hadn't stepped in and stopped Mir from hitting him on the back of the head, that fight is over. <laughs> so you, you do got to give a little bit of an edge to Mir now because he's fought him once. He's seen Lesnar fight again, so he has a little bit of tape to work with before. Lesnar had one fight, and I think that early fight was over in like a minute. Yeah. He fought some no-name in another organization, but now Mir has his homework done. He's going to be a little bit smarter, so who do you give him the edge to on this? Well, you know, Frank Mir, obviously, he has more skills than Brock Lesnar. Put, yes. him, in, put him in his body, and he's got this fight won. You yes. Know? But uh, he's not in his body. So <laughs> I think with uh, Brock Lesnar with those lunch boxes, he's going to connect and probably lay on top of him and try and do his little, you know... The ground him out, and, and uh, burn. I, I, just see, I just think he's going to do that, you know, probably second round over. Second round, wow, okay. Well, I, I got to agree with you, Matt, I'm sorry, but I usually like to pick technique over power, but this time I'm kind of going back on myself. I'm going to take Brock Lesnar, and that is very open-minded with this, because I've really gone back and forth a million times. I was leaning towards Amir right before this video, but something in my gut says Lesnar, I might be wrong. I don't know. Leave some comments and kind of tell us what you think. So we do have two Lesnar picks, correct? Yes. Against one mirror pick. The right pick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So everybody liked the bet that we had with the Caro Parisian fight last time, right? The one I should have won. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
So what are we going to do on this one? I was thinking maybe on the next video, depending on who loses, we'll go Chubby Bunny. Oh. The losing picker or pickers has to go Chubby Bunny style. they got to load up on 30 jumbo marshmallows <laughs> and do their pick on, on the video with the marshmallows in the mouth. What do you think? I'm down. Fair enough? I'm down. Gentlemen's agreement? Agreement? Yeah. There you go. You saw it right here. Get ready for this one, boys. That is the end of another UFC video by Osborne and McCarty. Thank you guys very much for watching. We appreciate all the comments that you leave. We appreciate the letters that you're sending to us with ideas for new videos. And we appreciate everyone that is subscribing. I know it sounds really cheesy, but from the bottoms of our heart, we thank you. We do this for you guys, and we always appreciate when you throw us a comment. But that is it for us. I'm Josh Osborne. Matt McCarty. Jared McCarty. And we will catch you on the flip side.